Now, last week we told you Anderson County would pitch in to pay for students' school supplies this year. Tonight we're learning that an elementary school, this time in Cumberland County, is making a similar move. Paying for the supplies its 600 students will need. Here's Ashley Bowley. This school really makes everybody feel like family. And family means caring for each of the 600 students at Brown Elementary School in Cumberland County. We're all about unity and we're all about equality and we want to put everybody in the same place when we start school. Give everybody the fair chance and have what they need. Principal Stephanie Spike believes that starts with school supplies. Ever since COVID, we've seen the difficulties that you know, families, some families have had. She and her staff envisioned buying their students paper, pencils, folders, and more. We qualify for Title I and federal funding because of the amount of economically disadvantaged children we have here. That way, everyone has the same materials and is on the same page. It helps them feel successful. Ashley Davis, a language arts teacher, keeps extra supplies on hand, but notices a change in behavior. They're embarrassed. They don't have their own things. Spike budgeted $6,000 total for classroom items. So when students return in the fall, they have pride in their own work. And so this opportunity that they have, it's outstanding what our principal and what our community has offered for our students. And the kids don't have to worry. The parents don't have to worry about running out and getting an abundance of things. Heather Smith says it will save her time, money, and energy. My hope is that this will touch other places to do the same thing and our kids could be on the same level. And the parents are less stressed out at the beginning of the school year trying to get all the things that the kids need. In Crossville, Ashley Boley, WVLT News. All right, how are they able to afford to do this? Well, fundraising and then different donations from churches, the Tansy Exchange Club, and Ladies Club. School is asking families for $10 for replacement supplies throughout the school year.